also sharing the spirit of oneness of First Nation people and also uh, people who've come into the journey that we're, we're in at the moment. And um, my name is Jeremy Garlett um, on Noongar Radio 100.9 FM and um, there is so much amazing synergy here with you all people who come to share this whole process of decolonizing decolonizing a whole spirit of self and you understand what decolonizing is all about is because when you can share this I'd like to introduce you to um, Don Henry and, um, and, uh, and Denise Smith as well and mainly because language as you walk on this country you're walking on first nation country and beautiful country and you share a beauty of a spirit and the Maori people too as well you're sharing first nation there and we want to have this process of a synergy of coming together and this is beautiful this is so beautiful and um, it is a it is a oneness of country and oneness of land you are a part of this too welcome to Nyunga land Nyunga nation Nyunga country Hiya, welcome. I've been asked just to say a few words why um, the Hakka for Life and the Aboriginal dancers are participating in this show. But first of all, I want to um, acknowledge um, the elders past and present. Thank you. Um, look, we've come together, um, ask, people ask what the significance is of having this on Anzac Day. Many of our people went away to war, including my mum's first husband. Some of them never come home. And the trauma of that, that impacted on family and friends and community, has been very big and it just goes on from one generation to the next. So I just thought that it's important to let people know. And I'm really proud of our guys and girls and Maori people. Okay, it's wonderful to see everybody together and we're hoping to see everybody here, the crowd, and we hope that it will grow from today on. Thank you. So saying, people coming together in your own uh, unity, in your own spirit. This is a powerful document when we're talking together as First Nation people. It is a powerful document. It is a treaty, the, an unwritten treaty, a treaty that we are coming together. And of course, all people coming together to hear this is also a treaty. It is a treaty from within your heart that you make and that you share with other people. And it's the people. It's not about one particular person. It's about the synergy of everything. And that's what it's all about. And letting go of that in the in the oneness of your own nana galang, of your inner sp spirit. We say nana 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 vala in your galang of your spirit, your court is in your heart and this is what heart speaks you don't have to be first nation people you can be a non-aboriginal person white people pakias you also share this whole spirit and you are accepting you are accepting you are making allowance we are making allowance and this is where the synergy of your allowance of your oneness of your own nalang 
of your own self is where the spirit is within yourself in your own path of where you're walking and that is beautiful that is beautiful that we can do this and we can share this so from all first nation people of the world we can speak now it's a very powerful process and we'd like to share that with you to empower other people we are the power breakers here as first nation people and we know that because of our past history of the first wars of the colonies the colonies the war amongst us and them and the colonies you were part of it too but if we can make amends this is the power of this process the power of your nalang of yourself through the traumas of pain through the traumas of suffering that's what i'm talking about and that's very very powerful and we'd like to share that with you and share it in love and that's all we can have and what we have thank you Neil. morning perth how are we all good morning. and my name's leon re i'm the founder and creator of hacker for life uh, why we're gathered here today is to honor the anzacs honor their memory and the sacrifice that they gave for us for us to be able to enjoy this moment right now in time in our lives also we have a powerful message that we want to deliver not only a message to use that witness us here today but we want to deliver a message to the world about men's mind health well-being and suicide prevention currently we have 8.3 australians take their lives every day over six of those are men men are three times more likely to pass away through suicide those are statistics that i'm just not cool with everybody that is standing here today is a representation here to honor the anzacs and also a stand as a choice for life we're asking people to choose life for many many years i wasn't able to communicate as a man it had detrimental effects on my loved ones on myself and on anybody else that come near to me not all the time and not every time but it still wasn't the person that i wanted to be in life the person that you saw standing here wasn't the true essence of me or the true representation of me like many of us here today i stood behind that because i was so scared about showing the world what i wasn't but that's changed and this is why we're here today i want to shift the mindset of our nation to be able to include corroboree and haka or indigenous dance around the world as a form of communication expression this is a demonstration of people that have come here today that have come to express themselves in their fullness to stand for life to choose life these people here have just come from the suburbs they've just come from around perth none of them are experts in what they do but they have a heart to stand for life so that's all of us that are gathered here today men women and children suicide does not discriminate so neither shall we yeah. we're a stand for life we choose life so i want you all as west australians if you have phones today this is a message we want to send out to the world and i want our nation to take this on it's special that we're beginning this in wa and in west australia we're proud west australians Woo! so please do that i've talked enough our words are done words with actions are about to be caused thank you
being involved with these guys. Leon, you're an absolute legend and uh, yeah, supporting suicide prevention. It happens to too many people. Uh, obviously, post-traumatic stress disorder, it's a big one that's, that's been a killer for a lot of people who have gone through what they've gone through in, in the wars and come back and committed suicide. So yeah, it's it's, it's just awesome being involved with such a, fan, a, a fantastic foundation. Um, so yeah, support them, Hucker for life. Uh, I'll see you next year. My great grandfather fought in World War One for the New Zealand Rifle Company. I just have so much emotion that comes with this day. And my way of coming out that goes to what I express myself to Hucker. And I just feel like there's so many other people that feel there as well. Anzac Day that we get to express ourselves as Indigenous cultures in Australia and New Zealand. I think it strengthens the bond that our two countries have together. I think it's a unique relationship that's a good to the world that hey, nations can get on. I just really struggled to be able to articulate myself and it was just a story, I had a negative story about myself. Uh, it didn't matter what I did, just I woke up every day thinking I wasn't good enough. And it had effects on my marriage, on my relationship with my girlfriend, on my children, and my work performance every year of life. And, but now that's different. I've had the courage to be able to stand up and demonstrate to that when you stand up and express yourself, hey, you have freedom, you have life, and that's what we are here to choose in life. And this yeah, it's the first haka, uh, first time this haka has been performed. It's one that we created ourselves. It's a, a message. The start of it was actually related to Anzac Day that we're 
support from the four winners. Um, the, the salute part, Mo Mahara Tato, Kiarato, Katoa, is actually, at least we forget, we will remember them. And then it goes on about a man's journey through life and the struggles that we have as men when we're, you know, when we're broken and we wander aimlessly and then we're restored by love. And it encourages us to stand as ourselves, to be confident in who we are, uh, for our minds to be restored. And at the very end, when I come out and I spoke, there was a declaration against suicide that we will no longer fall in the silence and the darkness and the sun will continue to shine upon us. I think it's uh, something that I want our uh, nation to embrace. I want to move the mindset of our nation. They, I don't think they've thought about it before, but it's, uh, it's just a wonderful expression and a great way to honour our, uh, our country. Did you expect this turnout last year? I think the energy was amazing. Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I planned the whole thing. I created it. I declared it. Um, you know, when you declare things in life, it's about being fully expressed in communication. Too many times in life we're judged by our past. We don't have the courage to step out. But I, you know, I declare it. I stood up because I believe in our people. Australians and New Zealanders are beautiful people. And, you know, this is, I, want, I want the world to see the type of people that we are because I think we're the best in the world. <laughs> Yeah. My phone is just like no doubt, like no space right in here. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, it's everyone around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, seriously. Oh, four things you just went through. Yeah, I know. It's got the cold nips going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Headlights on and all. Yeah. Um, seriously, thank you so much for like, sharing that. And I'm just, I feel very, oh, I'm getting emotional. I just seriously cried my Get emotional. Bring it up. But yeah, anyway. you've got about suppressing feelings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, no, just dance. Try it in, try it in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, Beautiful, seriously. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of hard work in that. Oh my god, I'm oh. so proud. Yeah. Oh, so man, this is just a start. Yeah. Just yeah. A start. yeah. <laughs> so, so can you tell us a little bit about this uh, Haka for Life? Oh, Hucker for Life, hey, well, it's a demonstration of people around the world that you can use the power of indigenous uh, culture of Karabri and Hucka to uh, to communicate with the world and to fully express yourself. So that's that was our message today. We're sending a message about men's mind health and suicide prevention and awareness uh, to the world and have men come together and then women and children through the power of the message. And hey, the, the message got delivered today and I'm sure uh, people in the world know what's been happening today at Kings Park. Right, thanks. 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 Thanks.